Now we're going to take a look at the uh, very popular cross join function. Uh, remember this little star symbol up in here means that it's one of the uh, 20 most uh, popular functions. And what we're uh, the, uh, going to do with cross join in here is effectively come through and allow us to come uh, do a nesting because we're limited in with uh, tabular data down here of two dimensions. So what we have to do is nest uh, <clears throat> the different sets one into another so that we can uh, see the display. Um, let me uh, show you that a little clearer. Uh, what we're going to accomplish here, I'm going to show you down here at the browser. I've got a, a Manager Studio up and I'm browsing the uh, AdventureWorks cubes down here so I can show you effectively the same thing we're going to do in uh, MDX that we're doing down here in the browser. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the, I'm going to add internet sales amount to the data area and now we'll drop on down. Looking into the product dimension, I'm going to drop on down add the product categories down here. Notice I'm going to add it into the column area. So now I've got the categories, the subcategory and the product, the hierarchy moving on across. And now let's go through and perform a cross join. So we'll take the dates and let's take calendar and I'm going to take the calendar down here and I'm also going to add that to the column area. All right, now I've got a cross join and if I expand this out you can see it. Oh, let's don't do accessories. Let's do bikes. So I'm expanding out the bikes as I drop on down and now you see the cross join. Bikes, mountain bikes moving down through the hierarchy and now I've got 2005, 2006. So I have this cross join of the different dimensions down here join so we can come through and look at the data and we can expand it on down as we expand on across. So that's effectively what we're going to do. <clears throat> so that's what cross join does, allows for a multiple, uh, multiple sets nesting on in the reports. So again, so we can use a flat screen. Uh, re returns the across product down here. We have two syntaxes that we can use. We can use a cross join or we can use the multiplication symbol and I've shown them both up here. Select and there's the multiplication symbol or just the cross join down here. So whichever ever you prefer. Uh, I happen to think cross join is more readable but if the people are familiar with uh, MDX then they'll understand what this is. Okay, let's go back and take a look at some other code. Moving down in here, I've just got some little thing. I'm going to just go, come through and execute this just to test my code. All right, now you see the flat display that I have down here coming across. So I've got reseller sales amount. I've got <coughs> um, product categories down here on the columns coming on across. And on the rows, I've got a measure group measures reseller sales as I drop on down like that. Now I'm going to use two of the two syntaxes, the uh, multiplication sign and the cross join, and I'm going to cheat here. Rather than scrolling up and down and selecting everything, I'm going to close this up and I'm going to select the whole thing and now I'm going to execute. And now you've got your, your cross join down here, as you can see, cross join to both 0 and 1. If I expand this out, you can see it came down and automatically selected everything so I have down here. So I have the first cross join up here on the columns on zero and with the first syntax and then the second syntax down here on the rows doing the cross join. Let's move down. All right, now I'm going to come through and just do a little build. And I can see all this so I don't won't shrink it up. Again, get the products, we've got the ears. Now I'm going to come down and I'm going to add the memory, the uh, members of the uh, product dimension, product categories, height, er, er, key, select it all, execute, okay, and expanded that on down. Now you can see I've got all the members and now I'm going to do a cross join. Okay, so now on my column, bringing back the years again, five, six, and seven. On the columns down here, now I'm going to cross join down here the category, the product dimension, the category um, level members down here with reseller sales amount and reseller or uh, quantity. And this will be a problem, so let me shrink this up, select it, execute it. 
and you can see all products as I expand this out accessories reseller sales amount resellers order quantity as you come on across down there you see so now I have on a flat display I can nest this information out Now here's just another thing coming through and doing it on the columns. This is very similar. Okay, so now I'm dropping it down there like that. And now I've just done a, a changing of the orders, the ordering. Okay. And so now I have years across the top and reseller sales, order quantity, etc. Very easy, of course, to change. You can just copy and paste and shuffle it on all around.